Well, there's no doubt that the journalists still left in sight here can't have uh, ignored the incredibly fast-moving developments we've seen once again in terms of this story and also the comings and goings. It was around 7 o'clock this evening that we saw Rupert Murdoch leave the building in a, in a blacked-out vehicle. Shortly after that, James Murdoch also left. You can soon see the destruction that's been left behind by the students. That was where those fires were, were started yesterday. And if we move over here behind the people. You can also see this telephone box has been completely smashed to pieces. You've got graffiti, glass everywhere. If you think it's tough de-icing your car first thing in the morning, these guys are really facing a struggle. The areas where all the planes are parked, they all have to be de-iced. Any snow like this which is coming down, that's going to have to be cleared later on. Obviously in the past any phone hacking allegations have been against the news of the world, those uh, lists that Glenn Mulcair had in his notebooks, but this does appear to uh, widen the issue out. This is even more heartbreaking and distressing, being at a time of year when so many of us are getting ready to spend time with our relatives. Instead, the parents of Joe Yates have found themselves caught up in this mystery of what exactly has happened to their daughter. First tonight, he had offered no defence and the jury had no doubts. Serial killer Peter Tobin did murder the Essex teenager Dinah McNichol. We have spoken to the uh, Council of Mosques in Luton this morning. They say that your comments show a complete lack of understanding. Have you actually spoken to women who wear the burqa? Well, I think their comments reflect their complete lack of understanding. By Leighton Buzzard, the four-carriage train is standing or squatting room only. I showed their managing director our footage. He told me they have already increased the number of carriages on earlier peak time trains, but they realise that they need to do more. No woman asks for a sexual assault! Strauss Kahn's decision to step down came as protesters demonstrated about his future outside the IMF headquarters in Washington, D.C. Already, key global figures have started discussing who might replace him. It was the no, biggest explosion no, ever nothing. seen in peacetime no, Europe, no, described by one man as like the end of the world. But David Mitchell um, was much closer. And, His son's um, bedroom overlooks the depot. You know, the ceilings are collapsed and, you know, bit to the roof are falling. The Prime Minister and Arnold Schwarzenegger have been firm friends for a while now, so it's only right that he gets a trip to David Cameron's new home, here to talk about the economy, Afghanistan and probably not his film work. Of course, these days we're all used to using our computers at just the touch of a button, but back in the 1970s it was all a little more do-it-yourself. You see, back then you didn't get things like a monitor or a keyboard, instead you got a box of bits like this and this is what made up your apple pc how do you cope with that attention and do you get to live like a normal 22 year old at all do you get to go out and have fun i don't really and if i do i have to think of the consequences the most popular event was the opening ceremony unsurprisingly which had two million applications the 100 meter men's final was the next most popular event with 1.3 million ticket requests so if you are after a seat at one of the big events don't forget this time it will be first come first served